بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Respected University Management Committee members and Senate members, principals, amala, and directors, brothers and sisters, new students of IIUM, to everyone of you, first of all, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for making it possible for us to be here this evening. On behalf of the IIUM campus, I would like to welcome all of you to this campus, to this garden of knowledge and virtue. Welcome to IUM. IIUM, which stands for International Islamic University of Malaysia. I want to re-emphasize, IIUM. First of all, we are an international university. We are international, and as usual the case, internationality means possessing certain characteristics. We are first of all international because of the composition, of the demographic composition of its students. You all, from more than 100 countries in the world, are assembled here. Thanks to you all, you make the you make the word you give meaning to the word international. But we also international by virtue of the fact that we have foreign academics together with academics from this country, and of course, we are international because we speak many languages. In fact, I hope one of the things that the students will take advantage is to learn the languages of other students. Alhamdulillah, you've been here for a week already. You have gone through the ta'aruf. And let us remember the word ta'aruf is a Quranic word. And it means that to know one another, to know one other, and it's not enough just to know, but to be acquainted with one another, to know each other in a deeper sense. Of course, within one week, you are not able to know everything, but then you are here for the next four years, and I hope you will get to know, or rather to understand what the Quran means by li ta'arafu. We are an Islamic university. This is an Islamic university. We are Islamic not because of the label, because of the uh, name, whether it is Muslim or Islamic, but we are Islamic because of our character. Our character in conformity with the teachings of our religion, on our religion. A university is an institution of knowledge where we learn, we study, we interact, we do research, we publish, all the things that a university normally does. But we have a difference. We are different. We have to do more than simply that. Thus, we have the slogan, we have the need, Islamization of knowledge, integration of knowledge, and all that. So, inshallah, in your coming years, in the next four years, you will come to know more about this. So I hope the garden of knowledge and virtue is the place where we not only seek knowledge, but we also build our character, our akhlaq. So I know when you come here, it means you are embarking on a journey 
of knowledge. It's not the final phase of your journey, it's just a transition. It will just be a transition. You have been in school, high school, pre-university classes, but now you are no longer a school student, you are an undergraduate. And undergraduate means you are more matured. You are a more matured person, and you intend to be a matured person. So I hope you, in, this, in, this, in the next four years, you will be making, you will be really embarking on a journey. It's a four-year journey. And the Prophet Muhammad wasallam reminded us, those who leave their home to seek knowledge, they will be in the path of God. They will be in the path of God. And according to one hadith, then, the birds will be singing, the fishes in the water will be expressing their joy at you all seeking knowledge. Why? Because when you become a knowledgeable person, you are not supposed to destroy the habitat of the birds, the animals, and so on. This is very important. Even creation welcomes all of you. You may not know that, you may not realize that. Maybe you have not realized right now, the birds outside there are not singing for you, welcoming you. You may not listen. But if we understand what the hadith mean, then we will appreciate that. All right, so this is, not, it, 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 this is important that you understand that you are now on a path of knowledge. But let me emphasize here that we are again different from the secular universities. We are different. We say we go to seek knowledge. In other words, to expand our intellectuality, to enlighten ourselves. No, it's not just to harness the intellect. It's only to build the, the, the intellect. But there's also the other dimension, spirituality. In Islam, intellectuality always go together with spirituality. Never at the moment we should allow ourselves to think of intellect independent of our qalb, our ruh, our soul. I'm sure our academics in this university will share their knowledge with you, the experience with you, this vision of being a Muslim undergraduate, to be an, an undergraduate of Islamic University. Because we are a university. The third one is university. We are a university, not a college. And our university is not confined to special courses. University of science and technology only. Science of us only. Or not even we have science of infrastructure only. No. We are a general university. We comprehend all the branches of knowledge. Here in the university, you can choose, you can go to any kulia of your choice. And this important that we as IIUM here, we want to build this advancement in knowledge, all branches of knowledge, in the spirit of Tawheed, unity. The intellectual framework of our university is the unity of all the sciences we build together. And of course, you are in, this is a university in Malaysia. So it's bound to be shaped and influenced by the characteristics of Malaysia. So those students who come from overseas, come here to Malaysia, try to understand, I would encourage them to, to speak the Malay language. Malay language is a very, very easy language, one of the easiest languages in the world. Much simpler than French, than the, uh, Urdu, no, it's Urdu and uh, what, what else, in, 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 in Africa and so on. But the point is, you should. We encourage students to be multilingual. When I was a student, in the University of London many, many years ago, 1967, many of you were here, were somewhere else, not here in this world. 
I took the opportunity that BBC provides, you know, it's free of charge. It's free of charge. Every Sunday morning, I attend that BBC class on how to learn French. Alhamdulillah, because of that, I'm able to speak a little French. I also learned a little Italian, even Italian. So what I'm saying is, when you are here, I mean, as a student from the other countries, please learn the Malay language. We do not, we don't want to impose that as a condition, but try to learn that. On the other, and also the case with the Malaysian students, with the Malaysian students, we try to learn the other languages, make friends with them. The best way to learn English is to speak, even though it is broken one in the beginning. Yeah? But eventually, you'll speak fluently. That's important. Of course, as I said, many, many characteristics. The Songko I'm wearing, the other friends here, this is the Songko. This is one version of Songko. It's not only to be in, in the world, you have in, in, one in the Indian subcontinent, that, the Songko. But this is, since you are in Malaysia, so today you don't have, but inshallah after four years, when you graduate, you wear the rope, wear the rope that we are wearing now. But remember, this rope is not borrowed from the Western tradition. This rope was originally Islamic. It was Islam. It was Islam that created the university tradition in every, almost every aspect. In the, the, the usra, the tutorial, the tutorial, the lecture, uh, the robe we wear, the professor's robe, all that, all that borrowed by Oxford, Cambridge, which we now so adore. Roger Bacon, one of the earliest professors at Oxford, studied in Andalusia with Muslim professors. Let's not forget that. Now we think that we learned that the West created it, but that's not the case. It was Islam. Islam went to the West. Now the West back to us. We are the one. We begin to, to appreciate this. So I just want to say, I get to take this opportunity, of course. Remember, I, I, you, and the international character, the Islamic character, the institution character, the identity of the institution, and of course, the Malaysian context. I wish you all a big success uh, in your studies, but try to make the, to be a whole person, to be a, a, a complete p a person. In other words, don't waste any opportunity that you have while you are here. Don't regret. Don't regret later that you did not do something which you could have done while you are here. So, once again, my, on behalf of all, my management uh, committee, the, the, the Senate, uh, and the, all the lecturers, in fact, all the academics in, the, in this university, we welcome you all, we wish you success, and make this your home. Feel at home you are in this Thank you.